This is my pre-calculus course. Today you're going to take the fourth test of the course. If you haven't done the homework completely and correctly from the last class, do that homework before watching this video. In the previous class, we did a practice test together and I gave you a practice test for homework. And I told you, do not take this test without completing those practice tests. Those tests are the absolute minimum that you need to prepare for the test that you're going to take today. If you uh, take this test and fail it, then that means that all the work that I put into it will be for nothing. You have to prove to yourself that you can actually do this material and you have to do this uh, test without any help from anybody. No textbooks, no internet, no notes, no help from anybody. You have to do it on your own. And if you can't do it on your own, then that means that you really have not learned what you need to learn to say that you've achieved the objective of this course. And if you have not completed those practice tests, again, those tests are the absolute minimum that you need. If you, if you want to get a really good score, like I said, you have to go back and study everything that we went over in the last three, four weeks, however long it's been since the, uh, the third test. Now, I don't care how long it takes you to finish this test. It may take you an hour. It may take you five hours. It doesn't really matter to me as long as you're able to do it without any help from anybody uh, that's fine with me but just be aware that in school you're really not going to be given much more than two hours and probably not even that well I guess I guess I would say about two hours is maybe the time you would be given for a test of this length uh, so just keep that in mind you may want to time yourself just to see how long it really takes you to complete a test like that because in school you need to be able to manage your time when taking tests. So again, have everything cleared off your, your desk. You need a, a, a pencil or a digital pen or a piece of paper or a digital notebook, whatever you're using to take the test. You also need a calculator. Very important to understand that you need to have your, your graphing calculator ready. And uh, as usual, the, the test is worth 100 points. So let's go ahead and take screenshots of the test. Here is screenshot number one. And number two. And number three. And number four. And number five. Six, seven, and eight. So pause the video at this point and go ahead and take the test. And when you're done, start the video at this point and we'll talk about how to uh, score your test and I'll give you the answers to the test. So I'll see you when you come back. Okay, we're back. So at this point you should be done with the test. Don't look at the answers until you're done with the test because if you look at the answers that really makes the test just pointless. So please make sure that you're done with the test before you look at the answers. Here's the answers. Go ahead and get a screenshot of those answers and here's the second part of the answers so now we're going to uh, talk about how to score your test so I'm just gonna give you a few uh, guidelines and if you're at this this point in the course you know kinda how it works I mean every problem is worth four points and if you have a problem that has uh, two parts obviously each part would be worth two points and if you have a, pro uh, a problem with one part, then obviously that problem is worth uh, uh, four points. But if you have uh, a problem 
that has four parts and each part is worth one point. Um, there may be a few things that are a little difficult to assign points, but again, uh, I can't score the test for you, so you're just going to have to do the best you can. If you got part of the problem wrong, then use your own discretion to figure out you know, how to subtract points. And if you have any question, if you want to send me a problem that you did and you're not really sure how to score it, then I can score it for you. Um, I can't score your entire test, uh, but I can you know, give you some guidelines if you have any questions. So at this point, I want you to go back and score your test, and you can use these uh, guidelines to help you. And uh, remember, you need to subtract a point if you didn't write your name, the date, the course title, and and uh, follow these guidelines here. So when you come back, start the video at this point, and we'll talk about how to uh, grade your test. I'll see you when you come back. Okay, we're back. So you probably don't really need me to tell you about the uh, grading. You've uh, heard this before. But uh, if you scored uh, between 90 and 100, that means that you did really well. If you scored between 80 and 89, that means you did well. But there's just a few things you could work on. And if you scored between 70 and 79, that means you did well. But there's quite a few things that you can work on. And anything less than that means that you just didn't score high enough to really say that you know this material, which is a problem. So at this point in the course, if you've uh, uh, scored low uh, habitually, if you scored low on the first, second, third, and the fourth test, then at this point, unfortunately, you probably have to acknowledge that this isn't really working for you. And really, the reason that uh, courses don't work for students is usually they're just not putting enough effort in. There's a, there's a huge amount of effort that you have to put into passing a math course. And a lot of students don't realize how much effort that they have to put in. So they put in maybe you know, a third of the effort that they need or half the effort that, that they need or maybe they put in 99% of the effort that they need but math is very unforgiving. Even if you put 99% of the effort that you need into it, it may not be enough to even pass the course. There's a certain point where you, you, uh, you get to a certain level and that allows you to uh, reach a certain mastery. But if, if you're not there, you're just not there. So uh, my advice is go back and uh, you know try to relearn these things and try to uh, maybe take a different approach. Uh, but if you did pass, I'm proud of you. Very good. If you scored in the green, that means you're ready to... Uh, take the final test, the, the uh, cumulative test of the course. So uh, there's no homework for this class. You can take a break because you've finished the fourth exam. I'll look forward to seeing you when we review for the final test in the next class.